we're going to go ahead. We're going to make this casserole. It's um, pretty much like a taco casserole. Some people call it a John Wayne casserole. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start this up. We got three cups of Bisquick in here. And to this, we're going to add one cup of water. There's one cup of water. We're going to mix this up, and you're going to need a 9 by 13 baking dish. So, mix this until it's a dough. So, this is what we're looking at here. So, we're going to go ahead and put this in the bottom of our pan. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a little spray. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to dump this in the bottom here and we're going to get this spread out across the bottom. So we got this in the bottom. Now we're going to put this to the side and you need one and a half pounds of ground beef and one onion that's diced. And we're going to get the onion and the ground beef fried together. So I had already started browning this meat. So I have one onion that I've chopped up and we're going to put in here with that. And we're going to go ahead and brown this beef until it's no longer pink and until the onions are softened. Alright y'all, so now it's all browned up. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drain this um, grease out of here and we're going to put it back in the pot. Okay, so I drained all that out. Now what you want to do is put one packet of taco seasoning in here. And then you're going to use a quarter cup of beef broth or beef stock, whatever you got. You can use water if you don't want to use that, but it definitely helps with the flavor. So we're going to mix this together. We're going to let this cook about two to three minutes. And then we're going to get on to the next step. Now what we're going to do is you're going to need two cans of Rotel with chili that we're going to put in here. There's the second one. Then you want one can of corn, but you want to make sure that you've drained it very well. We're going to put that in here. Now you're going to stir this up, and you're going to cook this for about five minutes until everything gets nice and warm and combined. Okay, y'all, so now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the heat off of this. We're going to take this, and we're going to put it inside of our baking dish on top of the Bisquick mix. All right, so we put that on top of here. Now, like I said, my dish is a little bit smaller. You're going to need a 9 by 13. This one's a little bit smaller than a 9 by 13. It's not going to hurt it. It will work but a 9 by 13 would be a little bit better. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a topping on this. So you have one 8 ounce cream cheese in here. So to this, we are going to add a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Then you want a half a teaspoon of onion powder. And then you want a quarter teaspoon of salt. Then you're going to need a half a cup of mayonnaise. All right, so now we got a half a cup of mayonnaise. We're going to put that in here. And so you're going to combine this as best as you can. But you want to make sure that your cream cheese is at room temperature. It makes it easier to spread. So we're going to go ahead and mix this together. So now we're going to take the topping that we mixed together and we're going to just dollop it on the top here and then we're just going to spread it on out as best as we can get it. So we're going to go ahead and get this topped off. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of spread it out. It doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. And then you're going to want to get some cheese because we're going to put some cheese on top of this. So I can spread it out the best you can. So now you want to take about two cups of cheese and you want to, any kind of cheese you want, I'm going to use cheddar. 
and go ahead and put it on the top here and just spread it out and you're going to need your oven on 350 degrees and you're going to cook this for about 30 to 35 minutes so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to get this in my oven and we will be back all right y'all the casserole is all done it's been in for 30 minutes and i pulled it out because the cheese is all brown and bubbly so I want to let everybody know I have cookbooks available um, for purchase. I'll put a link above and below this post. I hope everybody has a great afternoon and give this a try. Let us know how you like it. So um, enjoy.